Okay, so today we're going to talk about riff structures. Um, by riff structures, I don't mean as in play one riff, then another riff, and another riff. Uh, in in a songwriting sense, this is more of a case of structuring the actual riff in itself, structuring it in parts. Um, for example, if we take Death Crush. That's, that could be classed as a two-part riff, because you've got the first part and the second part. Because if you were to play the first part over and over again, it might not have the same feel. So it doesn't, it doesn't sound as cool if you don't structure it with part one than part two. And now you can go deeper and, and think of it as a four part riff because you've got this idea. So you've got part one, then part two, part three, part four, like that. So you have a repeating idea on one and three. And that's not the only riff that does that. Um, Sculpture of Flesh, 1349, you've got part one, part two, part three, which you, which you hear and see is the same as part one. And then you've got part four, which is the ending. And now if I were to just make something up on the spot, for example, Yeah, that's a fairly cool idea, a nice start to a song, or maybe a chorus or a build-up section. So, the initial idea. Which is just an E minor with some chugging on the low E. See how there, the tone, the actual feel of the riff changes, because I move the chord down a fret. And now we can we can dive in deeper. I think the ending I just played this G minor here to the E flat minor to the F sharp back to E. Whatever, whatever I just played. Um, I can't really think of anything else at the top of my head, but yeah, I thought this would be a nice real, real quick video just going over how you can structure your riffs. Um, yeah, there's nothing much to it. It's just come up with one section, change maybe the chord at the end, uh, or maybe add something new entirely. <laughs> And then come up with like a follow-up riff. Um, we will do a more songwriting focus lesson in the future, but I just want to get a quick video out that has um, more value than you might realize at first. Because um, if you start listening to quite a lot of black metal songs, um <laughs> you've got a similar idea there we've got this one repeating phrase with the second time ending and then the fourth time ending so little things little things to think about I think um, next lesson will be the intervals lesson um, once I get more free time and a few more resources I'll definitely do a full structured and very informative lesson on intervals so you know exactly what one's which, where you can use it, um, my preferred ones, and what can be best for you. So yeah, I'll catch you guys then.